Hey there, my name is Anthony Romano. I've been bodybuilding with the ketogenic diet for the past seven years, and I'm gonna answer quickly, can you do too much protein on keto? Can you overdo it? Is this a problem? Do you have to count it? Everything related to that in a few minutes. So I have plenty of other videos on keto protein, keto whey protein, what types of protein sources are best, but to summarize this quickly because it's a popular question is can you overdo protein on keto? Can you have too much protein? What happens if you have too much protein? A lot of people get afraid of something called gluconeogenesis. This is where your body turns protein into carbs and people think that if they're eating too much protein they will start burning carbs because this is what a lot of the marketing companies will tell you. They'll tell you that if you eat too much protein, you won't be in ketosis. You need to eat shitloads of fat, all that. That is all marketing strategies to get you to think you have to eat more fat so you can buy more of the fat products, so you can buy more oils, so you can buy more creamers to put in your coffee, so you can eat, increase your fat, which may in turn make you overdo your calories, which is probably more of an issue for fat loss than too much protein. Ketosis is a spectrum. People will tell you that because people measure their ketones. As long as you're in a ketogenic state, and your calories are in check, you will be losing fat. The deepness that you're in ketosis is better for your performance, for how you feel. You'll be able to fast longer, right? You'll feel a lot of mental benefits if you have deeper ketones. You don't have to achieve this by eating shitloads of fat though. You should be eating higher fat because it's gonna be your primary energy source. But this is something that you need to understand for how it relates to protein intake. Really, protein intake you should have an adequate amount. And if you, I've read, uh, the, one of the first books I've read on keto was called The Ketogenic Diet by Lyle McDonald. And the first thing they recommend is that you determine your protein amount and then your fat should make up the rest of your energy. Fats are your primary energy source at this point and too much protein is only an issue if you're not getting enough energy. With gluconeogenesis, this happens on a need basis, not on a quantity, not on a stimulating basis. So what I'm saying by this is, your body's gonna take the same amount of protein every single day and turn that to carbs no matter what you're eating. Your body has a requirement for how much protein it needs to turn into glucose every single day and the amount of protein you eat isn't going to influence this. It's just going to possibly reduce your deepness of ketosis because that is related to how much fat you're taking in. So if you're eating too much protein, eating 60% protein and your fat ends up being closer to 40%, then the only reason you're gonna be in less ketosis is because you're not eating as much fat. It has nothing to do with the protein because your protein is, your body's gonna set aside, let's say 25 grams of your protein every day to turn into glucose. And it does this because when you're fat adapted on keto, which happens after about a month, your body starts storing carbs that it takes from that protein and uses that protein that you're eating, not from your muscles, and turns that into carbs to store in your muscles so that you have carb energy on hand at all times. This only really happens after the first month, and that is why many people see performance increases after the first month, but never before. So that's also why most of the studies show no performance increase from keto because they're all done within the first month. Nobody really does one longer than a month. And of the ones that have, they've all shown great results and I have a couple of videos reviewing that. So we need more fat adapted keto studies, but for protein, you don't need to be afraid of your body using more protein as glucose because the amount you're eating. You only need to worry about getting enough and not overdoing it to the point where you're starving your body of its energy source being fat. So I always have this phrase I say around that keto isn't a high fat diet, it's only a high fat diet as a byproduct of being a low carb diet. So it only has high fats as a result of lowering those carbs. People will often say to me, oh, but I'm eating, uh, I'm eating all these fats, I'm throwing all these butters, I'm putting butter in everything I do, but they're still eating a decent amount of carbs. They think it's a high fat diet more than it's a low carb diet. It's a low carb diet primarily, and the fats are just the energy source you need after you've determined your protein amount. So. Can you overdo protein? Is there too much protein on, on keto? Is too much protein gonna kick you out of ketosis? Only if you're not eating enough fat. Only if you're basically, if you're eating only protein in the daytime and you're not keto adapted, you won't stay in ketosis. If you are keto adapted, you will stay in ketosis and your body will get better at it and basically keep you in ketosis no matter if you're having more protein or less. As long as you're in the ketogenic state, that's all you need to do. And I'm talking fast in this video because I wanna hammer in as much 
information into a several five minute video or so just so you can get the message here. And even if something isn't clear, I have plenty of other videos which you can check out on my page. Hopefully I've answered most of your questions. If you have any other questions, leave them in the description or in the comments, <laughs> uh, find my other videos in the description and I will answer you in the comment section. I answer every single question. And if you want a free keto meal plan and a free keto training plan, you can find those in the description as well. It's also part of my 60 day keto transformation challenge, which you can enter and possibly win prizes for free. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it helped and was valuable to you and click the subscribe button notification bell. If it was, my name is Anthony Romano. Peace. Oh,